Otwieram pierwsze posiedzenie Sejmu. I open the first sitting of the tenth term of office of the Sejm of the Polish Republic. Szanowni Państwo, równocześnie chciałbym... Ladies and gentlemen, at the same time I would like to clearly say that I will guard the most important achievements of the last eight years. These were eight good years for Poland and Poles. To było dobrych osiem lat dla Polski. Było... These were eight good years with a positive balance, in which, despite dramatically difficult challenges, such as the global crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic and Russian aggression against Ukraine, we managed to maintain the stability of the financial system, of our currency, and, what is extremely important, we managed to maintain jobs. I will not agree to any circumvention or bending of the law. I have always defended and will defend the two most important Polish values that entire generations have fought for, freedom and solidarity. If I find that a legislative measure raises serious substantive or legal doubts, I will not hesitate to use the presidential veto or refer the bill to the Constitutional Tribunal. A possible presidential veto cannot be an excuse for not fulfilling your election promises. I take my words extremely seriously. You also have promises that you made to Poles and I ask you to fulfill them. The new parliament is set to draw a line under a turbulent eight-year period marked by a rise of the European Union, sudden late-night votes, and lawmaking sometimes so rapid that political opponents said it undercut the normal parliamentary process. President Andrzej Duda has asked Prime Minister Mateusz Morawiecki to form a new government, but he has almost no chance of doing so as his Law and Justice Party lost its majority in last month's election and all the other parties ruled out working with them in a coalition. If Morawiecki fails, it will mean a period of cohabitation between Law and Justice-allied President Duda and a government led by former Prime Minister Donald Tusk. In a speech, Duda said eight years of Law and Justice rule had been good years for Poland and Poles, and he would not hesitate to use his veto if he saw fit. A possible veto cannot be an excuse for not fulfilling your election promises, he told lawmakers.